I got a note in the mail. Now, normally, I don't get notes in the mail. The, the questions that I answer from you are almost all from the Ask Paul. You know, you go to our website, psaudio.com, look up, uh, what the heck is this called? Ask Paul. <laughs> I do so many things. <laughs> I've got Paul's Daily Post. I've got our Octave YouTube channel. Uh, I've got this, Ask Paul. And, would you believe it, I'm going to start another YouTube channel because I, I don't know how many of you know this, but over the last 10 years, I've been working on a novel, actually a trilogy novel. And it's pretty cool. It's called Emians. And I'll tell you more about it later, but I'm going to start another YouTube channel and talk all about it. I, I, it's, it's a, I'm really pleased. It's only taken me 10 years to get this thing done. But anyway, so yeah, busy, busy, busy. Uh, uh, pfft, sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> I just found this so funny. This is from Jan in Deutschland, Germany. And he says, although I'm not an audiophile with a high-end system, I love your YouTube videos. Thank you, sir. Not only are these short videos informative and authentic, I'm especially impressed how the CEO of a company is able to find time for this and can explain all the technical audio topics in a calm and very convincing and catchy way. Okay, enough sucking up. <laughs> I think that line right there was what... <laughs> Is why I even read this. I love it. I, I, I like this guy. Okay, uh, Jan's question is, how much sense does it make to invest in a good audio system if someone listens mainly to metal, heavy metal? So that's a good question, and I get asked this all the time. Not, not, not specifically about heavy metal, but I get asked a lot if it's worth it to get a high-end audio system, if the kind of music you listen to doesn't really lend itself to it. And I know people are going to go, well, he sells high-end crap for a living, so what the heck do you think he's going to say? And you're right, I do sell high-end stuff for a living, and yes, I'm going to tell you it's worth it. But, <laughs> but here's why. I think it has to do with quality and your interest in quality. So let me give you an example. I used to be a fast food junkie before I got my act together with, with health food. And as most of you know, I'm a vegetarian, have been for the last 50 years. And I think part of the reason that I have enough energy and the kind of energy to do all this stuff is because of diet and exercise and, and uh, uh, you know, all that kind of good stuff. We all have our reasons, right? And it, I could be completely full of doo-doo, but that's at least, it works for me, okay? But I wasn't always that way. I mean, I used to be the king of eating my favorite, which was jack-in-the-box fried, deep-fried tacos. <coughs> God, I think I've told the story before that I would... This was years ago when we first started PS Audio. I, I would, oh, I'd go get three or four of those things, eat them up, crump, because I'm a pig, I would crumble up the papers, throw them in the, the uh, footwell of my Volkswagen Beetle, and, uh, and I also smoked at the time. Yeah, junk food, smoke, and I smoked more than just cigarettes. I smoked dope, I mean, you know, I was, I did it all, right? And I, somehow I had lit a cigarette or something, and the, the whole car lit on fire. I had to pull over and get it out. That, that was my junk food. <laughs> How did I get off on that? Oh, I know. Quality. Yes, quality. So I don't eat any of that stuff anymore, but I do like snack food. I do like fast food stuff. I've just switched to quality fast food stuff, okay? And... That's a big difference. So if I'm going to do something, me personally, I want to do it in the best way that I can to enjoy it. Life is, on one side, a lifetime long. I know that sounds trite, but it's all you got. And so I want to make the most out of it. And when I listen to heavy metal, which I do, I'll own up to it, I want that thing just cranking 
and I want to hear the bass. I want to be able to hear, you know, the guy with the, the guitar with the, the drill on it. I want to hear that in the best possible light. And if there's impact and power in it, then I want to enjoy the impact and power. And so, yes, I think if you're going to do something, don't half-ass it. Just do it to the point of pure pleasure. And that's the best advice I can give you. Okay. Thanks for that kind note. <laughs> I really appreciate it. All right. Take it easy. Bye. Thank you.